Amira a mai fost la România o talent acum exact un an. Un an i-a fost suficient ca să evolueze cât alții. Am făcut dreptate, Amira! How are you feeling now? <laughs> it's good before you go on, just to help you get rid of the nerves, just to do a little shake, shake your shoulders. This is what we do. Shake your shoulders and go, shut up, Dad. What? <laughs> Trust me, it helps with the nerves. Go on. Shut up, Dad. You said, oh, why? I didn't even ah. say anything. Feel better? <laughs> <laughs> okay. On to the store, have a lovely time. Good luck. Enjoy. Olivia, we meet again. Hello. Hello, my lovely. She was going to see the show with Matilda, and I was in the box office. And then I said, we would love you to come down to Britain's Got Talent, because her mummy and nanny wrote in and said that she had oh. the most amazing singing voice and that we should see her. Are your family here? I'm here with my mummy, my nanny and my daddy. <laughs> Olivia, tell everybody how old you are. I'm 11. Where are you from? Bath. OK. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. Oh, it's pumping. Yeah. And what is the song? Define gravity. Do you feel OK? Are you ready? Yeah. Deep breaths, Olivia. Good luck.
you sing it just flows and pours out of you <laughs> that was an incredible performance thank you I love her I love her I mean you send me literally flying everything you said touched me you're a singing miracle my god thank you that was like a scene from a movie you just blew the roof off I mean seriously perfect 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 Golden buzzer. You so deserve this. You're brilliant. Thank brilliant. you. I wasn't expecting to do that. I always go on how I feel in my heart, and everybody was on their feet, and you truly deserve that moment, Olivia. I felt so proud of you, darling. Thank you. Olivia, no, I'm going to remember that. Thank you.
sunt niște copii oameni buni. Doamne, mie nu vine să cred, bă, că mă uit la ei cât de mici sunt și ce lucruri mari fac. Sắc sáy mình, sắc sáy ông, thay cho mừng mừng cơn. 
สบายอมสุขสบายอมสุขสบายตาสุขสบายตานั่งสุขสบายลูกปูงานเอ้ยชมวยก่อนชมวยเอเลนมาเอเลนเอเลนเอเลนเอเลนยังอยู่โลอัดจ้ะโอ้ให้ยุมันชนะมก่อนปรำใบปรำใบชนะมบาให้เห็นเห็นเนื้อสลานาก่อนบาทีอนตาเจียนบาทีลอยตีใบเรียนจบจบเลยมวยแล้วหัวข่ายอัดต้องบัดจบปีดองหนึ่งอ๋อต้องบัดจบปีดองเลยบาทให้ไม่บันก้นยี่อัดใช่ปะก้นก้นยี่อองเลยเชิญไหมเนี่ยปีมันเชิญไอ้เลยน้องเฮียงมาสมอ๋อปีมันเชิญแต่ยี่อองเลยเนาะ How you feel How do you feel I'm normal You okay โอเคโอเคเจ๋มัดมัดเนี่ยนาในจุนเมาหมาขยมหมาในนาหมาในนุ่มโอเคอะไรไงนั่งมาสมดายไอ้เก๊งไอ้นั่งพันตีพิภพโลกมันคลังนะตีพันตีในประเทศนี้มวยนี่มวยตังอ้อมันฮาสเปเตตังฮาสเปเตตังฮาสเปเตตังฮาสเปเตตังฮาสเปเตตังฮาสเปเตตัง c h ư n g ba ok ta l ấ hai nữ hai gì ba món á ba t ì n h nia ta ăn kho món á t ù n g r i t ì n h nia ta thử mà rồi bị rồi món á ba ok ta c h ậ tam hai sáu bảy tám chín tám Oh man! Yeah, they all 
omong ya omong jangan nang perang buat ongli Gana Gana Ini Gana jeng tu Wow Kambodia sepah mong nang ni Mah Kambodia Liberia Ah kali ingat kuasa Ya Liberia Kyrgyzstan ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้ไปบูมเต้
Do you exhale all of your problems and worries before casting your thoughts to the bottom of an otherwise empty place below the poverty line of depressed thoughts and the sad calamity of a haunted house you've called home? I don't know. Maybe someone out there has an answer. But for now, I'm still trying to come to terms with the fact that today I looked up how long it would take to drown. We are good. We are so excited. Yes. So, tell everybody where you're from and what brings you to Britain's Got Talent today. Okay. Um, we are from Uganda, Kampala, Africa. So we are going to dance for you guys and for you judges. Yes. Oh, thank you. And have you brought anyone with you? Mr. Kavma Dauda. Is he there? Yes. Can you say hi? Can we say hi? Yeah, go on, please do. Hi. Oh, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Tell us a little bit about this group. I have 30 kids that I'm taking care of. Some are orphans. We are using music, dance and drama to make lives better. Amazing. Oh, my God, it's amazing. Oh, bless you, darling. <laughs> That's incredible. Well, we're all rooting for you, and the yes. stage is yours. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, look, look. Oh. We are the ghetto kids from the Pearl of Africa, Uganda.
It's a place for a you and I A little space for a you and I That's never actually happened. <laughs> Normally, the golden buzzer is pressed afterwards. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. <laughs> yeah, someone didn't explain the rules of Britain's Got Talent to him. He gave you the golden buzzer and you performed with the confetti. It was magical. <laughs> and by the way, who's this little one? My name is Josephine. Hello, Josephine. How old are you, Josephine? Five years. Oh, I just want to say, you're absolute superstars, every single one of you. What you're doing is absolutely incredible, and we are honoured that you have come to Britain's Got Talent. You've lit up the stage, and yes. the energy in the room and joy is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so much. Your talent is unbelievable. And it felt to me like you'd really raised the bar on Britain's Got Talent, so well done. I was literally exploding, I'm telling you. You should be proud of yourself. I can't wait to see you back. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah. I think it's incredible that you're so young, you've flown all the way, and no fear, this is an audition we're going to remember. And it was brilliant. That's what this show is all about. Yeah. And that's what the Golden Buzz is for. Would be better for this. The 
Deci pentru mine e Jennifer Hudson Acolo
elección del tema Tumor o del musical Lani por una de sus intérpretes. Let's do it. Okay. Best of luck. On to the store. Have fun out there, Malachi. Okay. Enjoy. All the best. How are you? Uh, very excited. Good. And what's your name, please? Uh, my name is Malachi. I'm 13 years old and I'm a singer from London. Ooh. Okay. When did you decide, Malachi, that you were going to be a singer? When I was seven. What happened? I joined my choir. Yeah. And then what? And then I started singing. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what you want to be full time? Yeah. That's why you're here? Yeah. Who have you brought with you today, darling? Uh, my mum and my sister. They're in the audience. Hello, ladies. All right, no more questions, I promise you. Good luck. Oh, please be good.
าเลยเถอยอ there any one word I could use to describe that? Golden. Stunning performance. Stunning. Totally flawless. Very composed. I looked over at your mum and sister, and they were in bits. So you did you did yourself so proud. It was beautiful. I don't know what you're channeling, but whatever is pouring out of you was so heavenly and beautiful. I actually went into a a trance. I agree. It was like being in heaven. That was stunning. That was fabulous. I was in tears because you really touched me, and it's very simple. You sang like an angel. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on this show. Really, that means a lot. Thank you.
Tonight, I'm going to perform the most mind-blowing magic you've ever seen. And I hope you all like my suit. It is one of a kind. No one else has this suit. I love it. And for tonight, I'll need a cool assistant. Terry! I think you'll work perfect for the... He's wearing the same suit! <laughs> Terry, here, I have some cards. And on these cards, I wrote down some cool superhero names, like Blaze, Storm, Falcon. You get the idea. So, Terry, can you please tell me when to stop whenever you want? Stop. You sure? That's it. Great, can you take this name, don't look at it, and put it into your pocket? We'll get back to it in a moment. Okay. Tonight, I brought along my comic. My mum thinks I'm a bit of a comic, but mums always find their sons funny, even when they aren't. Isn't that right, Howie? <laughs> so, here it is, Aiden's comic, and inside is a picture of me as a superhero. Look, here it is. So, I'll leave this here with you, Simon, and we won't colour it in just yet, OK? OK. Great. So, Terry, here, I have a blindfold. Can you please put this up to your eyes and confirm that you cannot see through it? OK. He's very strict. Yes. Can't see it. Great. And can you hold these for me, please? Thank you. So, judges, your task is to colour in my superhero picture. Okay. And I'm not going to look. I'll stand over here and I'll put on my blindfold. So, are you ready? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. Great! So, Simon, please pick up any marker. Can you, with that marker, colour in the cape for me, please? The cape? Okay. Yes. Simon, do you like colouring? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I heard that's very calming for some old people. Uh. <laughs> and Simon, whenever you're done, you can just tell me. After that, I'm taking my time, all right? <laughs> Try to stay in the line. Oh, shut up. <laughs> OK, nice. all right. Is that all right? You're done? Yes. OK, great. Can you take that marker and throw it away? Can you now yes. pass the comic and the markers over to Heidi? Yep. Heidi, can you please pick any marker? And with that marker, can you colour in the shirt for me, please? Shirt. Sure. And, you know, it's OK. You can be a rebel. You can colour outside the lines if you need to. No, no, no. <laughs> And whenever you're done, Heidi, you can take that marker and throw it away like the super diva you are. <laughs> super diva? Pass the comic and the markers over to Howie. Howie, choose any marker, please, and colour in just the shorts. Just the shorts. Got it. Are you done? I am done. Great. You can take that marker and throw it away. All right. <laughs> so, take the last marker. Right. And colour in the legs this time, please. Okay. And Howie, since yep. that's last one, you know, you can go ahead and give it a big mic drop. Boom. Boom. Great. I'm going to take off my blindfold now. Oh, there we go. Can I have my glasses, that's please, great. Terry? Thank you. So, Howie, yes. for the first time, please hold up the superhero drawing so I can see it. Wow, uh, that's very colourful. Pink top, blue legs, green cape and orange shorts. Right. No one could have predicted this. But I knew all along all the choices you all would make tonight. That includes you, Terry. Please take out the name you chose earlier and show everyone what it is. Titan. Yeah. Terry the Titan. That's an awesome superhero name. But just to prove I predicted everything all along, check. This out! Superhero pose. I've been reading 
Seriously, unbelievable. Heidi. I don't know how you did it. You are incredible. I love the magic, but really, it is you who is the magic. You really are. I think you're such a little star. You sparkled. And I don't know. What's my head saying? What? Superstar. Thank, Thank you so, you so much. much. Congratulations. Oh, wow. Hello. They keep getting younger and younger. What's happening? What is your name? My name is Maya Gamzu. Maya, good to meet you. How old are you? I am 14 years old. Oh. Wow. And what are you going to do for us tonight? I'm going to sing today. All right, all right. Did you bring anybody with you here tonight? Yes, I did. My dad is backstage over there. Nice. And my uh, mom and brother are in the audience. Are they? Where are they at? That's really nice. Oh, there they are. They're over there. Well, listen, I'll tell you, I think this crowd here, as well as everybody at home, is ready to see you rock. So let's see what you got. The stage is yours. Thank you. All right. Got a good feeling, yeah. I got a feeling that I never, 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 never had before, no more. Excuse me. And I just gotta tell you right now that I. Cause I believe, I really do believe that something's got a hold on me. Wow, wow, and only 14. Yes. That's the part that I did not expect that out of your 14-year-old self. That Thank was you so much. That was amazing. Can I be honest for a second? I just want to be honest for a second. You have a phenomenal voice. Clearly, everyone was on their feet. You're so talented. I don't think that song, though, let you fully showcase everything you can do. 
Did you pick that song? Yeah, this is yes. my question. You picked it? That um, was totally your idea? Yeah, this well. song is by Christina Aguilera, and yes. Christina Aguilera has always been my goal as a singer. Listen, this is a, a show where, I, you know, I'm going to be a little bit pompous. We create stars here. I think that you could have, with a better song choice, went from an A to an A+. Plus. But I have such a belief, and I haven't been wrong yet, but I really do think that with the right song choice, that you possibly could win all of Canada's Got Talent. Thank you. And that is why... Cardi, do you have words for her? I absolutely think that you can take this whole contest. So make sure Thank that when so we see you again, that you prove to everybody out there in Canada how incredible you are, because you got the golden buzzer today! Thank you! White silicon eyes, watching storms, sitting quiet, reading books in the heat of city lights. Born, everyone's born. When I'm restless, put me under the nightlife stars, and I will feel ground.
Ira s-a dus singură la o școală de circ din București. Acolo, în scurt timp...
lo que hace y cómo lo hace. Hello again. We met a little bit earlier on. Tell us your name and why you're here today, please. My name is Gioma Narcisse Williams. Use the mic. <laughs> what? Yeah, we'll start again. Yeah, so tell us your, your name, why you're here, please. My name is Sean Narcissus Williams, and I am eight years old. Eight years old. <laughs> and where are you from? I'm from, I'm from Georgia. Oh, okay. Now, do you think you can win? Yeah, just say yes. Definitely. Definitely. Ah! Okay, I'm guessing you're going to play the drum. Yes. Shall we start the act? Yes. Yes, thank you. It was fun, it was energetic. You guys are adorable. I think 
Everybody in this room loved you, and I love you. I loved it too. I love that you do something with your extra time outside of school instead of being on your computers. You're putting this amazing act together. I love that. I haven't seen anything like this before on this stage. You guys might have a very big chance to win this competition because I think everyone is gonna go crazy. Well, I didn't like it. What? No? What? I absolutely loved it. Let's go crazy, 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 crazy. I mean, seriously, what's not to like? There's so much fun, and they're so talented. This is one of my favorite, favorite auditions this year. I really mean that. Okay, I think I know where this is going, and now we have to vote. No, 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 no! There is no need! You told me backstage that you dreamed about being on AGT and getting a golden buzzer. Now, Chioma and the Atlanta Drum Academy, I am honored to make that dream come true.
Grazie a tutti. Beh, devo dire che è così. Impresionante! La rompió! Ah, eh. 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 Vení corriendo a disfrutar! Good evening! Thank you for coming to AGT. What is your name? My name is Putri Haryani. I'm 17 years old. I'm from Indonesia. Oh. <laughs> Putri, is this your first time in America? This is my very first time. I'm so excited. I love all the thing in here. What is your talent? I am a singer. How long you been singing? Maybe since I was born. <laughs> and what is your dream? My dream is being the biggest diva in the world, like win the Houston and win a Grammy Award. Oh, wow! Yes! Are you, are you going to school now? Yes, I'm in high school, but I hope that I can get in Juilliard College of Music for my college program. Why AGT? Have you always wanted to come here? I hope that I can win America's Got Talent so I can reach oh. my dream. Okay, we're so happy that you're here and excited. We want to see you. Thank you so much. Good luck. She's so sweet. So cute. Yeah. Does that mic feel like it's a good spot for you? Cool, and the key's good? Yes. Okay, cool, have fun.
Her voice is amazing. Yes. And thank you. you have other. Yes, I'm other. Very nice to meet you. Yes, thank you. Uh, does Petri have a step in the song? Yeah. Yeah. You want to sing for Pokemon? Yeah. Yeah. So you want to sing it for you? <laughs> yes, thank you. What did you want? Well. <laughs> Another song? You didn't like that one? I, I just said to Putri, I like her voice so much. Thank I you want so her much, to Simon. sing a second song, please. The song is special for you, Simon. Well, thank you.
feel so excited. I, I, I can't, I can't believe it. That actually, I, I can be here now. <laughs> It was amazing! Thank you! We're all mesmerized by you. Your voice, you're an angel. Thank you so much! I think you just used the word, you know? A lot of people don't believe in angels, and I think one just landed on our stage. Thank you! You're a superstar! Yes! You sounded so beautiful tonight, especially the very first song that you sang, like how you switched from your chest voice to your head voice, like that's how my, you... Sorry? Yeah, sorry? That's my original song. Oh, Thank wow. You. That's even yeah. more amazing. Wow. Very, very wow. 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 I thought it was like a pop song. It was so good. <laughs> you didn't even tell us that. I think we're all feeling the same thing. You know, you're 17, you write songs, you've got an amazing distinctive voice. Thank and you and so I'm, much. I mean, really, really good. You have a kind of a, a glow about you. And tell me about your waiting for something at your school. I really want to go to Juilliard. Okay. I don't know whether this is going to make a difference or not. However, he's standing up. A sharp spirit will calm it down. I've got a sound of flood in a drum of This is brave. This is proof. This is who I'm meant to be. This is me. Simon, can you say a little bit about why you pushed this golden buzzer? Because she's brilliant. Absolutely! It's true. There's the gold. Yeah. Yeah. I am blown away. And you're a great songwriter as well. You made my dream come true. You made my dreams come true. This is who
a Daenerys Vợ ai đừng cơ ăn a Brad Pitt Đói bà ông nay mình đã thôn nị Bố dưới rừng kia lúc mà mắt cảm ơn nghe đoàn đề rí Có mọi cảm ơn ở khâu đàn ở con Bà phù vì nát tay khỏi con thua mình to Hít vì được phải ai vì đây on the floor Riêng của môn vì công tích Vì ai vợ chú mình đang lại có mọi nơi sẽ sao Bà tùm liên phải đầy tiền Vì ai vợ tên là bè lộ bàn đào Fiance been together for years, 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 years. And my friends ask me, how do you do it? How do you together for so long? Through the pandemic, baby. And I just say, find your woman that, you know, loves you, 
understand your flaws and find your woman that has a good sense of humor. Just make sure those three women don't find out about each other. That's the trick. Yeah, but we don't really have issues. In fact, I'm like, the biggest issue we have is I hate when she would imitate my voice in an argument and it sounds nothing like my voice. I can't stand it. I, she come up to me, I asked you what time you're coming home and you said to me, I don't know when you're coming home. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. <laughs> what I do now, I've got a way to get her back. I imitate her voice back and guess what? She don't like it. <laughs> I did tell you what time I was coming home and you said, well, make sure you come back at a decent time. <laughs> I don't sound like that. Yes, you do. She gets angry. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I say, all right, I'll get out of your face. But how do I do it? In style. Yeah. What is the one thing about Simon that you don't know that you would like to know? Oh, good <laughs> oh, question. No. You know everything, don't David. you? David. Good question. <laughs> 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 Just, don't, don't go there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like your baby. Uh, you're, you've got a contract for next year. Um, you can have a two-year extension. I would like... It, I mean, we are after the watershed, are we? Yes! No, we're not. No, we're not. Oh, no, we're no. not. We're not after the watershed. I would like to see... David. Inside... His... House. Oh! He's never invited... These two girls have been to his house. Right. I, I haven't. Why, why has David never been to your house? He's scared. I don't really like him that much. <laughs> <laughs> and while I'm at his house, I'd like to see Actually, the ladies are attracted to what's inside of a man. Uh, back me up, ladies. If you agree, say yeah. <laughs> Rapidly moving on. Uh, public toilets can't live without them, can't live in them either. Uh, because there is no fridge and microwave there. <laughs> <laughs> Often when I use the male toilet, some guys there uh, fart very loud, and I don't like that. So when possible, I sneak into the ladies' toilets instead, uh, because they're much more discreet about it. Well, at least when they know that I am there. for you guys <laughs> who actually had to film that at the We're front. In the game. I was on a show called America's Got Talent. That's why I know you, Simon. Yeah, I was on America's Got Talent. And uh, who's seen that? Who's seen America's Got Talent? Who's seen me on America's Got You seen me? Oh, you seen me? Okay. Who voted for me, though? Who of course you did in London. 
I lost to a 12 year old ventriloquist. She didn't open her mouth the whole time. You never know what it feels like losing a million dollars to somebody that still has chores. You'll never know. People ask me all the time, they're like, you still talk to Darcy? I'm like, she's 14, bruh, no. I'm a grown man. What am I gonna do? Hey, Darcy, how was school? Like, no, man. <laughs> Plus, she beat me, so I hate her. Why would I talk to someone I hate? <laughs> Don't hate Darcy, she's an angel. So is the devil, okay? Now. What are three things that you love about yourself? Um, humility. Uh, yes, uh, charm. Humble. Good looks, humility, generous. Uh, I like people. I wear great clothes. I'm funny. Um, I'm great fun to have dinner with and breakfast and lunch. I'm great to go on holiday with. Um, I like guys. I like girls. I like animals. I know you do. <laughs> a bank right because I'm not really happy with the customer services that we get at banks nowadays right have you ever gone into a bank you've seen four available windows four but there's only one person working yes. <laughs> then you get the woman that works there who walks past the queue and says don't worry she won't be long go and help her <laughs> why are you out here you get to the cashier because it's your turn right they've now given the cashiers microphones yeah so everybody can hear your financial situation I'm right here, I can hear you, right? And I'm already embarrassed about the amount that I need. So I was discreet, right? I was like, can I get one pound 50, please? <laughs> that weren't enough for her. She had to talk into the mic and get into my business. Sorry, sir, you need a pound to keep the account open? <laughs> I'm like, why are you shouting? But I told you, I needed the rest of what was in my account. So I said to her, please, can I get that 50 pence? <laughs> she said to me, how do you want that? I was like, in silence. <laughs> you know what? You know what he is? And it's, it's interesting. And it is often people who are really, really, really famous. He is incredibly generous with his time with people. More than any other star I've ever seen. Woo! Come here with an R for that. Come on. <laughs> okay. What a lovely way to finish our nice job. But for some reason, and that's nice of you, David, but I feel uncomfortable now. <laughs> You know, because what? you're not used to me paying you a compliment. No, I know, and I, it just doesn't sit just, right. Just take it for no, what I it can't. is. No, I can't. It just doesn't feel comfortable. What, what, would you feel more comfortable if he gave you a hug? Yeah. Come give, give me a hug. Give him a hug. Give him a hug. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hug it out. Come on. give me a hug. Hug it out. That's it. Come on, give me a hug. Come on. No, no, I didn't say sit down. No, no, I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. I didn't say sit down. Give him a lovely hug. That's it. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Look at that. Okay, that's it. What a beautiful picture. Okay. When I realised I'd never be able to talk again, I was speechless. <laughs> I have lived in Newcastle all my life. Yes! But for some reason, I still haven't picked up the accent. <laughs> I can see that some of you are trying to figure out where you know me from. Maybe it would help if I started saying phrases such as the next train to arrive on platform <laughs> four is the 1252 <laughs> service to London <laughs> King's Cross. <laughs> and from my time at the post office, please go to cashier number eight. Hello, I'm Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> and today we're going to be Health working out. So everyone put your hands out in front of you, spread your legs, and do some squats. <laughs> Lie down, the baby, on Martin Fowler's sofa. Isn't that right? Dog Cotton would be proud, wouldn't she? <laughs> oh, it's so nice to be here on my new show. And today's guest is absolutely fantastic. You know what? I'm going to meet her. Hello. Oh, thanks for having me show the ring. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, I'm really nervous. Oh. And then, oh, I was on the, uh, go out of the jungle recently. Oh, my God. I mean, I saw those ones. And I was like, oh. And then, 
Then I saw even more ones. And I was like, whoa. And then they tried to make me even ones. And I was like, whoa. And I was like, whoa. And, like, whoa. and then I was being sick everywhere. Hi, Simon. How are you? Um, you are my family's favourite judge, believe it or not. I do believe it. Um, but if you had to choose between your America's Got Talent judging panel or your Britain's Got Talent oh, judging hello, panel, hello, hello. which one is your favourite and why? Oh. Well, to be fair, they are more intelligent in America. Who? In America? In America, right? yeah. Uh, you start. don't mean that disrespectfully. No, they are more intelligent. <laughs> um, what, Heidi Klum? <laughs> She's sick as big shit. <laughs> no. now, he, now he can't be sacked, he'll just say anything he wants. <laughs> exactly James, you I said he'll be out of control <laughs> now. <laughs> Taking that to a side, um, look, it's difficult. I like them both. Uh, I like these guys because they're sort of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm like so nervous and so excited. <laughs> it's like being on the X Factor all over again. <laughs> oh my god! I just love being a celebrity. <laughs> when my agent said I was doing an advert for Iceland, I rushed out to get a woolly hat, a woolly coat, and a passport. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honeys. One hundred percent, definitely. You'll come to Ivy Charles Salon in Essex. <laughs> I love Essex. I work in Essex. I live in Essex. It's all about Essex. <laughs> and I can spell Essex. I think. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> There's only one pricey. I'm at that age now, all my friends are getting married and married people forget how horrible it is being single. They love to call me and complain about their couple problems. Always get, you are so lucky being single. I get home, my wife just starts nagging, nag, nag, nag. I'm like, hey, I have to nag myself. <laughs> I get home, I'm like, what time do I call this? <laughs> Why don't I ever do the dishes? Sometimes I think I don't appreciate myself. <laughs> I haven't always been a comedian. I did some weird jobs. I used to clean houses, and I'll admit I was tempted to steal. <laughs> I didn't steal because the Bible says, thou shalt not steal, but nowhere does it say, thou shalt not swap. Hi there. So my question is for David. Right. So, David, we've seen a lot of good magic acts on the show so far, but don't you agree with me that the real magic on the show has to be Simon? That's a great question. What's his name? Um, Karen. Karen, that's a great question. Well, yeah. I mean, it's magical how a man of 85 still looks like that. I mean, <laughs> he's, had, he's had some assistance of some kind, hasn't <laughs> he? My goodness. <laughs> Um, yeah, it is, it is magic. He, it is fun. I actually, the weird thing is, although I know you pretty well, I actually do get starstruck every time I see you. I go, oh my God, it's like a cow! Every time I walk <laughs> it's the weirdest thing. Do that's, you, that's weird. Do you get starstruck with him? No. There you go. <laughs> I feel like we should get to know each other a bit closer. Please. Yes. Yeah. No oh. 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 <laughs> my name is uh, Vigo. My name is. My oh, name yeah. is. My name is. We remember Vigo. That. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try to? No. Oh. Yes. <laughs> my name is. My name is. My name is. My name is Vigo. My name is. My name is Vigo. You are Bruno, the new guy. Yeah. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> the new guy! Thank you for reminding me! <laughs> Why would people 
all so excited about that talking dog on Britain's Got Talent. Amanda Holden's been on it for years. Stage, but I'm never quite sure which one's supposed to be the funny one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's killing us all! First of all, A is for Alan Carr. <laughs> Camp but concise. B is for Brucey. Nice to see you, to see you. Nice. C is for Connolly. Wind swept the big yin. D is David Attenborough spying on Creature King. E, Eubank, pugnacious with fist. F for funny man, Kevin Bridges, get my gist. <laughs> G's for gangster like Joe Pesci or his buddy De Niro. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? H is for hello, McIntyre here. <laughs> Your comedy hero. <laughs> I like this, you know, it's great, you know. I, Sir Ian McKellen, thou shalt not pass. J, Jonathan Wass, remembered for that Wassel Bland farce. <laughs> K, Kevin Spacey, an actor who looks tired. <laughs> L, Lord Sugar, now, I don't care, cos you're fired. Um, Andy Murray, I've just lost to Federer. N for Natalie Cassidy. <laughs> The country's on the hunt for the next Prime Minister. Out of all the, all the judges, who would make the best Prime Minister and why? Who would make the best Prime Minister? Out of the three of them. If it was a dictatorship, Simon Cowell. <laughs> um, I actually think... I think... I think Alicia would be a wonderful Prime Minister. I think she would. She's a, she, I think she's the na natural, no offence to your mother, but she's the naturally the nicest person on the oh, panel. Nice. I think she is. There's nothing, you've got, a, you've got an edge. How do you but feel about that, Alicia? Because, because, I really fuck, because I say the fuck, because I say bad things. Because you said the F word at eight o'clock at ITV. <laughs> <laughs> Moving I'm on to the next. I'm too naughty to be Prime Minister. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to face the mute, uh, the impressions. <laughs> Actually, doing the uh, the X Factor guy, all you have to do is right at the very end, roar like a lion. Simon Carl. <laughs> Thank you. And here we can witness a whole plethora of strange and fascinating creatures. That's good. Nice. The obligatory wild pack of street dancers and the balding middle-aged car enthusiast. <laughs> Look at the body on this. <laughs> I love the sexy curves, the exquisite contours, but most importantly, the two big airbags. Because <laughs> people tell me I don't look like a Nabil Abdul Rashid. Apparently I look more like a Tyrone. <laughs> or a Marlon, or maybe even a Babatunde, you know, whatever. <laughs> I turned up to a show recently, they wouldn't let me in. I turned up to the green room, like, excuse me, you can't be here. This green room is for a Nabil Abdul Sheikh Abel <laughs> I'm like, no, it's Abdul Rashid. Yes, that's what I said, Abdul Shish Kebab. <laughs> but like, I don't mean to offend you, but has anyone ever told you that your name sounds a bit mm, mm. <laughs> Muslim. I said, yes, that's because I am a Muslim. He said, okay, well, at least tell me what the name means. I said, the name Nabil Abdul Rashid basically means that my phone calls are monitored. Now... <laughs> I do hope you enjoy this next tune. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, this is, um... Oh, sorry, I just bring the guitar to keep it in shape, you see. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen one of these before. This is an old Welsh instrument. 
It's got a Welsh name, that's right. It's called a bug. And <laughs> I am going to play a tune for you, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an original tune, this is a cover. He's good, isn't he? We like the well. And some of you may recognize it. Here we go. Errant. Errant. It's a famous film from the 70s. It's The Elephant Man. I'll start with a joke, seems like a good idea. Um, kids are the biggest source of joy you will ever have. Trouble is, they do tend to ruin every other source of joy <laughs> you ever had. So I hear other parents say stuff like, I'd take a bullet for my child, you know, I'd tell them, would you? <laughs> I'd take a bullet for my child, put it in a gun, and shoot her. <laughs> <laughs> my daughter's now 18, I can't believe it. So one of those teenagers wears tons of makeup, you know, she makes RuPaul look like a trucker. <laughs> and the whole pandemic was kicking off, and I did what many people did here, which was to spend the next two years fairly drunk. <laughs> I need a drink! Oh, it's only half five. <laughs> Better wait till six o'clock. All right, quarter to six, I'm opening the drink. Six o'clock, woof! All right, new plan, one more at 6.30, another one at seven, and then I will get up and make my daughter some breakfast. <laughs> that was a nasty so, uh... Quidditch accident. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I can't stand? Sorry, sorry, let me re-emphasise. Do you know what I can't stand? <laughs> but look on the bright side. I've never had to queue at Disneyland. <laughs> now, just, I'm just going to throw a disclaimer out there. If I do get too energetic, please stop me. I want to keep my benefits. <laughs> but, otherwise, otherwise, how would I heat the jacuzzi? I'm joking, I'm joking. It's a pool. We're coming up to my wedding anniversary. Let's have a big cheer for my long-suffering wife. However, before that, I had been married three previous times. And I have seven ex-fiancés. It's nice that all my ex-wives and ex-fiancés have made the effort to buy tickets. Yes. Simon, you're tight and I'm a terrible person. It's just words. With all things, if you explain it the right way, you can get away with it. If I, if I told you I'd recently given a large cash donation to a charity that gives financial aid to young mums, you think that was good, yes? Yeah, but if I said I'd been to a lap dancing club... <laughs> I haven't even got any hobbies. The nearest I've got to a hobby is this. I quite like highlighter pens. 